um, any doubts that we wouldn't see Halo. It'd be a weird year if we didn't, don't you It'll think? give us Halo something. Yeah, right? I mean, like Halo Wars or Halo. Halo VR. <laughs> <laughs> I Are jump into that. Are you ready? I, now? I totally will. I jump into Halo VR. You bet your ass. We joke, like, but there's one it would work on. I mean, no, you can no. play VR right now. You just got to be okay with TKs. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, Forza Horizon. So they should be starting in about 15 minutes. Uh, this is just Twitch's kind of like pre-show. One of the most popular driving games. I can continue. adjust the volume of the stream on the fly too. So if we need to mute it or whatever, I can mute it. Yeah. 4K monitor. Tripling it up. It's too quiet. Uh, but so just I, let I me think know. that for this year, the gears uh, of I think right now I'm leave it right about might here. be in for a treat if the but rumors let me know if it's too quiet. Uh, around what a lot of people are talking about are true. And the rumors are is that we might see up to three Gears of War games. Just so interesting. That's like very ambitious because if, if I'm a Gears of War fan and you want to you want to direct my hype towards something, you're going to spread it out across three. I mean, right? Ambitious. I, you know, I I I thought the same thing when I read it, especially when you hear what these three things might you be. You cannot stand but these people. Well, this anything, girl right here on the right, uh, is almost always fresh. Rachel, I actually and met I her at uh, VG War, Expo in Philadelphia one year. It's probably you know, Marcus Phoenix Gears of probably War going back like staple. I think there's seven or eight years now. I don't remember exactly what year it was. And really bring the franchise. But, um, I mean, I, there we was were actually part of the same gaming community. And this was like way back before, before she used to work right for now, Blizzard. Like she's done lots of casting for Blizzard, and, and I actually am surprised to see her here. I didn't know she worked for Twitch, but um. So yeah, she's all right. I don't actually know any of these other people though. Third person, maybe some co-op, big big fights, etc. Um, so the other one is potentially an RTS Halo War styles game, which is kind of interesting because Gears of War isn't typically known for its vehicles and ve vehicle battle, whereas Halo did, and there, I think there was a lot of places where that made sense, but, you know, I don't know. Thoughts? I'm always intrigued whenever anyone tries an RTS because I think RTS is so hard to get right. I mean, obviously, as a StarCraft II purist, she like, looks familiar, I'm, but I don't know who or she StarCraft is. StarCraft purist, I guess, in general. I, it's, I, I'm always like, if someone could make an RTS that would really kind of sweep right. up all of those people, that would be a huge accomplishment. I always kind of give it a like, oh, cool, go ahead. Yeah, let's see. Let's you let's know? see how it yeah. goes. Well, the point you raised too about like you don't think of vehicles or anything else going on in Gears of War. Like, how are you going to to gamify the RTS? Like, how you know how many units can you really offer? How many different interactions right. can you offer? Right. Um, of course, this could be could be. Yeah, I'm ready. Wrong, I, too. I, I'm, I'm excited to see how they solve that question. And last but not least, uh, Gears of War Battle Royale is the yes. third one that's that's <laughs> being rumored, um, which is also I've interesting. I've these battle royale would you games, make man. A battle royale game separate from the main game, right? And this goes back to the trends thing that we talked about, where it's like, I'm sure we're going to see a lot of packaged games. Here's everything, everything, and battle royale. But I do think that we'll see a lot of developers say, "No, we're going to take this franchise and we're going to build and design that game around it." Sure. Um, can Gears of War do that? I, I don't know. I don't see why not. You don't see why not. No. Um, anything else that you would, you know, think that you might see from Microsoft. There's a lot of discussion about Rare, you know, what's what's going on, what can be revived from there. And then the other question that's coming up is, is there anything deep in the bolts of Microsoft that could potentially, you mm. know, come out and surprise us that's that we might not be question. surprised at? Or we might not be expecting. And people were, you know, kind of like Crackdown when Crackdown 3 was yeah. released, but no one knows what's going on with that game. So Fable? we'll see. Ooh. Yeah, Fable. A lot of people are, are like, give us the Fable. And then, also, put all the Fables on PC. This <laughs> is this is where I'd honestly see Gears of War, see not, really in. Fable, oh, sure, not really interested in. Fable, not really interested in. I'll tell you, I think the two... Is of that, of that mind these days. Let's like, see. Everybody wants the two like, things that I'm most excited to hear from, from that, Microsoft we, we can use is a more from the one Halo 6, the one even though... I, like, I'm a huge Here's Halo fan, but ball. Halos 4 and 5 really didn't like, do it for me, so for I'm still, right like, hanging on to that hope that Halo 6 is going to be really I'm good, kind of excited for. but uh, I think our we'll, we'll have to life, see, right? but that's what I'm, the first thing I'm really excited for is Halo 6, and the next thing is Ori and Will of the Wisps, because Ori in the Blind Forest is, like, the best $15 I've ever spent. That game 
was like, um, amazing. Sea of Solitude. If you guys, where it's I think, like, I was yeah, I have a, a Let's Play of it on my channel. Lonely, so we can if, share that uh, experience. what's up, Drenched? Are those barbarian emotes? I think that leaning into that crit. side of games That's art funny. is really interesting uh, right now. So giving me a little bit of... Yeah, Ori and the Blind Forest was an amazing game. And last E3, you know, they like showed a reveal trailer for a sequel. So I'm hoping we get to see some gameplay of it. Yeah. Or because right. that game is incredible. Of the Wisp, that would be a, it would be so. What yeah, great, Jeff. If, if you've oh, thought nice about getting Ori a lot, <laughs> I highly be, recommend it. Happened. The I'm definitive edition is, is the way to go. Up, I, I think it's a little like 15, how about we 20 bucks. Check in with chat and find out, maybe see. take a poll on how <laughs> bad you messed <laughs> up. Uh, no, no, no. Well, we want to find out what you're excited for, I think, uh, at the Microsoft conference. Right here. Okay, Adrian. How's it going? Yeah, Ori and the Blind Forest definitive edition is on Steam for 20 bucks. You caught me here. Best 20 bucks you'll ever spend. Eating these delicious Totina pizza rolls, which is powered by. Sorry, they're just really good. All right, so you want to know information, right? I got information for you. Chat, it's our turn again. It's our turn again. I want to find out what surprise reveal do you want to see from Microsoft, okay? And once again, we have four options. And this time, I hope we can get a little bit better communication, maybe give you guys some time to, like, think about this instead of just picking an answer right away, like you did last time, which is fine. You can do that. But here are your options, okay? Halo 6, Fable 4. Gears of War 5, and a new Perfect Dark. Now, before we delve into this, I want to remind partner streamers out there, if you're watching this and you're really, really enjoying this, guess what? You can do it too. Make sure you go over to uh, your dashboard area for your extensions. Look up Voting Studio, and you can take advantage of this too. Using bits, you can have your own voting poll. Brought to you by uh, iPowWow. So chat, here's the thing, okay? I'm gonna tell you which one I think you should pick, because I want us to be friends, okay? So the first thing you should think about is that Fable, it sounds cool, right? I like Fable. Fable was done by Lionhead Studios. Lionhead Studios, not around right now, which sucks. But the thing is, we get a new Fable, who's gonna make it? It's gonna be the same kind of Fable we're used to. Are we gonna have the person saying, you know, hooray, hero, and all that stuff? Halo, I'll give you a pass for, because it can be Halo 6, but think about this, why Halo 6? Why not Halo ODST 2, right? Ooh. And that I'm would be good. The rest, it doesn't matter. Halo ODS 2 should be right next to Halo 6. And it's been since 2015. Halo ODST 2 released. would be good. ODST is one of my favorite Halo games. Yeah, two years drought, right? But Gears of War, never I mean, happen, though. I'm a fanatic. I have the games that I love no matter what. And when you're a fanatic of any game series, what you do is you love the game no matter what. You complain about it. You go into Twitch chat, Twitter, Reddit complain i hate this game i don't want any more they're not getting my money again oh my god the trailer's out this game's gonna be so sick and then you buy it right pretty much all these games up here are fanatic games excuse me oh god they're all fanatic games so i need you right now to think about this what direction do you want to head chat how do you want to do this and to make sure that we're doing this i'm gonna look at you right now i'm gonna find out who's saying what about this the new Star okay. Wars game you is supposed to take place time between to 3 and so it's, 4, it's so now it's not Halo the same timeline as SWG. Right now. So this is the SWG moment is right where after all your 4. friends out there who want a new Perfect Dark, you want Institute Menu, this is your chance. You have like five seconds, okay? So please, help me. Help me get a new Perfect Dark. Rare's probably watching this right now thinking, you know what? I'm going to... Come on. Fable 4. That's fine. I don't even mind. You can do it. And look at this. You're just sitting here spanning Fable 4 in chat. Too awesome for me, Fable 4. Arctic 301, Halo 6. What are you guys doing? Help me out. There's no one in here. Okay. Never mind. Thank you, the X into X. I have to make sure I actually can say your names because some of them are kind of <laughs> they're coming kind of suspect. So if I'm double taking, it's because I'm making sure that I don't get removed from the set right away. So thank you for your participation. I have absolutely no Thank interest you in Fable. Letting me down once again. All right, come on. Five on, minutes, guys. Five minutes. better foundation and bridge a better future for gaming. Guys, back to you. Wonderful. Uh, I'm sorry, okay, Adrian, that Perfect Dark Wait, I'm gonna go not grab a drink. received. And I'll be right back. I, I have, I, Don't start I without like me. I know the reason why. Why? Uh, Perfect Dark has been, I think, removed too long. Right? Like, if the perfect arc comes back, it's going to be a complete reintroduction of the franchise and what it was. And that's, I think, okay. Um, it was cool, though, right? It was, yeah. uh, you know, sort of based off of Bond. It sort of still had the gadgetry, the spy aspects of it. And uh, this is a time they could, they could pull that off, I think. 
I know? agree. No, I played I played a shitload of Perfect Dark when I was uh, when I was growing up, and that was one of the first. After Goldeneye was the first multiplayer experience that we had, like a ton of people like actually swapping in and and you know playing and stuff, and had so many options. I a lot of people have fond memories of Perfect Dark, so. But I'm old, so I might. You are. I might. I might Way be like you know the old like. Hey, dude, my we got, a, we got actual drink. Um, we also can't discuss the Microsoft press conference without at least bringing up the topic of entertainment. It seems like for the last, if you remember the famous like television, home console, like we put mm. it into one. Ever since then, Microsoft has always had some portion of their show kind of dedicated to that. Whether that's like this is why this box is the one box you need, <clears> or this is you know, what we get. The other thing that we're seeing is with the transition to Windows 10, like, will we see more entertainment discussion mm. this year, right? And I can't, there hasn't really been too many trends. We already have the subscription services on there. You can watch your television on your Xbox. You can, you know, route your cable through all sorts of crazy things. But is there anything else that they could do, right? You I know, mean, Connect's dead at this point. I mean, I think that yeah, they didn't even here. mention it last year. Oh, Great. Oh, yeah, which makes me quiet. so sad. I I'm a huge Connect fan, and I know that a it lot of people don't. You. A lot of people don't agree with me. <laughs> but I, the Connect got me up and moving. It gave me game experiences that I really wanted that other things haven't given me. So nah, nothing. I don't know. And I mean, that was kind of a precursor to some of the VR we're getting. So that would be one of the only other things, like maybe like a. I don't know, I, some sort of HoloLens tie-in and, or something? And the moment you think of, yeah, because it's, they're probably not going to go the VR route, and right. they got the HoloLens, but we didn't really hear anything about the HoloLens. Maybe a very small demo. One thing I can year. say about the HoloLens, too, is I was at a, a tech demo recently, like in the last, you know, uh, month or so, and they were showing off uh, uh, virtual reality technology with the HoloLens, and they said, this is actually the most advanced technology we have right now, and it's two, three years old already. So, you know, if they can start moving in that direction, we've seen a lot of stuff really embrace AR, you know, Pokemon's been doing it, but there's a, the Jurassic World game and stuff as well. People want to see their video game stuff set in the real world, and that's one of the few tools that does it. Yeah. I, 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 I think really there's a lot of people out there who are, like, who, who are like, can we just stop going into innovation and fix what you have now? Yes. Like, the multiplayer, like, FUBAR is just driving a lot of people just crazy insane. Mm -hmm. Everything um, everything so else is just I'm like a sure gimmick. I can't be alone and thinking like, like ooh, dinosaurs on the street. And then go forward. You know, I, <laughs> and I, I think there's probably one other one, which is like, you know, give me the games, right? Because yeah. people are looking still, not just for a multiplayer experience, but for a single player experience. And some of the most heralded games in the last three months have actually been those games announced last year that were big single player experiences that, you know, that might have been played and done and experienced and loved. And I feel like that is really where Microsoft could come and get a big, big, big A in this conference. Dude. I would just love to be kind of shocked by a game where it's like, totally wasn't expecting that. Oh my gosh, I'm in. This is the one wish I have for Microsoft, right? Because they're on the PC. They're, I, I'm there, I'm working. I want those smaller games that I can play next to my email inbox. And that's nobody's developing those anymore. Microsoft has an incredible opportunity with their Xbox dashboard to give me more. Do you remember like After Dark games, those game suites with the flying toasters and you could play like, yeah. you know, the, yeah. the, the, the draw the lines for AI well and screensaver yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, I think there's a market for like little five, ten minute games to play on my PC and with all the mobile crossover that they've been doing, take over to my Windows phone or something. Well, we are uh, apparently right. about a That's minute it. away from my, Microsoft's press conference. As we mentioned, it's just happened and a stone throws away from us. So we'll be hearing the cheers, I'm sure, all the way over here. But will it be another Halo? Is Gears of War going to get three games? Well, for the next uh, hour or so, uh, you'll be, of course, uh, taken through that tour. Uh, of Microsoft, their press conference. Again, this is new here on uh, on on Sunday instead of being on the normal day, Monday. Uh, tomorrow, we've obviously got to all of the other press conferences, but Microsoft is going to look to try to stake and take the day. So uh, very excited to see what we've got. Don't forget, we've also got Bethesda tonight at 6.30, and then Devolver is going to be finishing up the day uh, for us here at E3 on Twitch. Are you ready? So ready. ready. Ladies and gentlemen, let's kick it on over to the Microsoft press conference for E3 on Twitch. I don't know if I'm going to stream all the way through Bethesda's conference. Maybe. Alright, 
let's see. Let's see if they're gonna kick it off with something big or if they're gonna save like Halo 6 for the last this thing. Is the Xbox E3 2018 briefing. I'm gonna turn the volume up just a little bit. Looks like it might be Halo already. Nah. Nah. This looks like it might be Fable 4. It looks sort of like a pelican top. No freaking way! What is this though? This can't be Halo 6. This is something different. Watch this be like a mobile game. Please welcome the head of Xbox, Bill Spencer. Master Chief on his greatest adventure yet to save humanity. We are now at a moment of exceptional creativity in gaming. We can't wait to show you what Creativity Unleashed looks like for you. So to all the gamers around the world, across time zones and languages, to every single person watching us on TV and on Mixer, and to our largest ever live audience, the thousands of you with us right here in the Microsoft Theater. Welcome to E3 2018. I'd like to personally thank everyone who's joining us from FanFest. A hundred percent of the proceeds from your FanFest tickets are going to Gamers Outreach. Thanks to you, kids in children's hospitals get to game with their friends in their favorite worlds. It's a great cause. That's what I appreciate most about gaming. Gaming brings us together. Gaming connects us. It inspires our truest cooperation. It creates some of our fondest memories of competition and our deepest conversations about, about the stories within games. Most of all, Gaming fosters real community. It reaches across age, ability, race, gender, and geography. This is why I've always believed, and will always believe, that gaming is the great unifier. And what unifies us is our shared love of this art form. Legendary characters who captivate us, not just for 10 hours, 
but for 10, 20, 30 years. Bold stories that inspire the hero within us. Iconic worlds that are so richly imagined, we feel excitement in the air and danger on the seas. As gamers, we are at a momentous time where creative vision and cutting edge technology together are delivering the art form we love. This guy's holding something so, back. For months, our teams and I have traveled the world, meeting developers from Japan to Poland, from the UK to the Ukraine. You can see that like, he really wants to, he's got something to, to single announce. Single developers. Come on, say it. Creators who seize the full power and potential of Xbox One to express their most daring vision for games. Today, we've curated a bold showcase of their best work and ours. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Wait, what? They're all, that's Some all gonna will be, be first-timers oh. on this stage, and others all will right. be first-timers on any stage. All are imagined by the industry's greatest talents. All demonstrate what true artisans can create, mind-blowing art, immersive sound effects, breathtaking worlds. Sound effects. So let's jump in. Exclusive. It's Ori. Tell me that, oh my God, the first two things, the first two things they talk about are the two things that I wanted to hear. This is a good press conference so far. All I had to see were like the, the art of those leaves hanging, and I knew. Yeah, it does look adorable, but that doesn't mean it ain't serious, you know, this game. Oh my god, look at that, he gets like a sword? They better give us a release date. That's all I want now. Come on. 2019, you bastards. Bastards. World premiere. It's worth. I just see, I see Genji. Like Genji loses an arm. 
I need healing. If I can get your hands. It's one thick dude. Please welcome, from Bethesda Game Studios, Todd Howard. Get out of here, Bethesda. You have your own press conference later. Oh, well, that's it, guys. I mean, they talked about Halo. They talked about Halo, and they talked about doing? Ori. That was all I wanted to see, so I'm going to count on the screen. Oh, uh, it's great to see everybody again. You know, actually, the Bethesda event is a few hours right after this across the street. And uh, Phil said to me, I'm having a few friends over. Why don't you uh, stop by? And look, I know Phil is really, really charming. Um, but damn, he's got a lot of friends. <laughs> the good news is, you're our friends too. We've had an incredible 16-year history with Xbox going all the way back to the original with Morrowind. Now backwards compatible. And that goes all the way to bringing mods to consoles with Fallout 4. Yeah, that you tried to charge for. And now we are bringing the Fallout universe to Xbox Game Pass with Fallout 4 launching today. Okay. And hey, since we're here, we thought we'd give all of you an exclusive World premiere, first look at Fallout 76. Okay. Yes, Fallout 76 is a prequel to all the other games, and it is our biggest one yet. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. Wow. Set in the hills of West Virginia, you are one of the first to emerge into an untamed and very different wasteland. years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you. So that if the bombs do come, our way of life will endure. Almost heaven. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is all there, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, blowing like the breeze. Country roads, take me
For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. In Vault 76, our future begins. Looks like more of the same shit. Same game, new setting. It's World premiere. Could just be like an expansion. Spirit of my silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know Square. Huh? where to begin. Just me, Captain Spirit. <laughs> this is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Have you spotted Snowman, sir? Not yet. I never Keep played Life is Strange. Chris, breakfast. Okay, Dad. You're drinking beer? I don't need a lecture from my son. I always get picked last for the team at school, and they never throw the ball to me. They can't tell stories like you can, can they? No way. Start the launch. Too late. Emergency. Ah. You're too weak to fight on me. This time, you won't get away from me. Remember back when, when they started? Remember when they started showing Ori, and you were like, "Oh, that's adorable." Now, this this is adorable. I miss Mom's smile. But I don't Me I don't too. see the same. Nobody's free. I don't know. You're probably gonna change the world. Just I hope so. I know so. Really Captain Spirit is here. I think you're a vision. The awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. Download for free from June 26th. It reminds me of like a Telltale game. I guess Exclusive. if you're really in the story, that's what that's for. I guess, I don't know. Commander Jack on deck. Welcome to Crackdown 3. The only game built like me. Big, beautiful, like a skyscraper. It's a Go Terry your face. If you want to play on my level, it's definitely Terry my lead. I'm already sold. Somebody give me my jam. I'm getting this just because of Terry Crews. No building is too high. 60 stories up, incoming! <laughs> you gotta build up that raw power. Grab more power! Nama, nama, nama! Big, bigger, Jackson! <laughs> then you need that fire power. Homing rocket gun, bullseye! Vortex cannon, see ya! Graviton tether! Have you two met? And the most powerful weapon of all, me. And then I roll out like a boss. I can push off fools, pull up the side of a building, or even bust out my very own tank. Oh, yeah. Boom, shakalaka! <laughs> Man, these bad guys just won't quit. They got math, mad scientists, and mad a master plan. Here we go! You know what this looks and like? Just <laughs> this looks like if Terry if Terry Crews was a playable character in Borderlands. That's what this is. Crack down three. Done. Sold. Game of the year. We will take back our world from the scourge of the machines. Another near automata? It's just like all the all the DLC included now. I played quite a bit of this game. I never finished it, but I liked it. I mean, 
have to go back and finish that. It was pretty fun. And the skies rained missiles, and the ground burned to ash, and the seas boiled, and people turned into shadows. So let us not fear the heretics oh, at our true? door. Even with their iron steeds standing before us, stinking of machine oil, and shining its heretical light upon us. Remember, most of the country has been destroyed or occupied. Even those who speak our language might be enemies, by conviction or out of fear. We will not falter! Let us steel ourselves against them! For this yeah. is our hour of glory! Amen! Yeah, this looks pretty good too. Let's move out, Artyom. See, I'm actually more excited for this than I am for uh, Fallout 76. No matter what those fanatics think. Because Terry Crews morphing into a tank, but it's still pretty good. Phil Spencer, back again. Metro had me at its gritty visuals, brutal landscapes, and its mystery of the ruins above ground. What I love about our art form is the vast range of creative expression from grim post-apocalyptic battles to hand-painted spirit guardians. Whatever world these creators build, whatever story they tell, I want to know what that whatever dude's sound effects says. they use, See this? Oh, Lord we will Hot work Monkey? with creators to guarantee yeah. that their games look Lord and play Hot best Monkey. on Xbox One. Why? Like this next game. Why? Generations have loved role-playing games from Inventive Studios in Japan. Our next game is the latest in a legendary series. For the first time ever on Xbox, Kingdom Hearts. Oh, that's, that's a pretty big announcement. Yo, I loved Kingdom Hearts when I was younger. I haven't played a Kingdom Hearts it's game cold. since Kingdom Hearts Jesse's 2, though. Jesse's too used to the beach. Hey, Islander, what can I say? Look, even the sea's turning to ice. Wow. I don't like that voice actor for Sora, though. A walking, talking snowman. You really are alive. Hello. Olaf, are these your friends? Hmm? Nope. Never met him. Don't know anyone blue, green, or who's oddly spiked. Yeah. Alright, let's see though. Give me let's see if they have Star Wars in here, because Disney owns Star Wars now, which means Star Wars could be in Kingdom Hearts. Oh. 
people. This is my home now. I can't go back. I don't want to hurt anyone. Herc! <laughs> yeah, Vader is a main villain would be awesome. Things they don't really Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. The other Twilight Town is just Data. So what will Elsa accept? Light or darkness? I know I want to know. Well, good for you, but guess what? I won't let her fall to darkness. See, I don't know. Where are the Final Fantasy characters? It's Keyblade. Because what, what made the original Kingdom Hearts so cool was... Mickey. Yeah, it was fun running around with the Disney characters, but the, the, the Kingdom... Late. I'm sorry, the Final Fantasy characters played just as big of a role. And I didn't see a single Final Fantasy character in all of that. So, I don't know. Exclusive. This, this game still exists. I thought people stopped playing this game like a week after launch. You needn't cower in the doorway. I actually like meeting new people. Besides, the conversation with my friend here has reached a bit of an impasse. I think you just need a moment to cool off. Now, I sense that you brought me something to inspect. Show me. Oh. Waves of change roll throughout the seas, and a new land is revealed. The forsaken shores. A place of darkness, where fire and ash consume all. And from the depths, skeleton crews will rise to curse the seas. An ancient evil set loose upon the Sea of Thieves. You have delivered unto me a portent of two most terrible. Oh! You just wanted to know how much it was worth, didn't you? Fine, I'll give you ten for it. Meh. Meh. Jeg har altid syntes, at blandt andet deres var vakkert og forstyrrende. Da jeg lige som barn fortalte mig historier om skarpninger og monstre. <laughs> Vi ved, at nogen er derude. Bare fortæl mig, hvem det er. Battlefield. 
Interesting. Exclusive world premiere. Yeah, I did hear that Battlefield's gonna have Battle Royale, which is funny, but at least it's still gonna have a single player campaign, whereas Call of Duty isn't. So, with that, I can't really complain. I can see for miles and miles and That's what we need Goat Simulator Battle Royale. I want it. Make it happen. Goat Simulator Battle Royale. Racing games just don't really do it for me anymore. I used to play them when I was younger. Fucking hovercraft. I mean, it looks gorgeous, but uh, I'm not I'm not much of a racer anymore. Please welcome, from Playground Games, Ralph Fulton. Thank you so much. It is fantastic to be here today. I am excited to show you the world premiere of Forza Horizon 4, set in beautiful, historic Britain. Forza Horizon 4 features dynamic seasons in a shared open world, and seasons change everything. Let me introduce you to some of our team who will be helping demo the game today. Please welcome Bill, who is online with a few friends in Hi, the Bill. beautiful English countryside. He has chosen the incredible new McLaren Senna. And say hi to Solomon, who is hanging out with his buddies on the streets Hi, of Solomon. Scotland's capital, Edinburgh. So Solomon is driving the Hoonigan Ford Focus. And please welcome Andy, whose off-road buggy is perfect Screw for taking you, jumps, Andy. scaling rocky terrain, and having fun on the coastline of Britain. But first, let's join Rebecca. She is enjoying the summer in her highly customized Nissan Silvia. The sun is out. The sky is blue, and it's the perfect day for a drive. Forza Horizon 4's Britain is a shared open world. When you play, you play with the entire community. And that means the other drivers you'll meet in the game will be real people with all the variety, spontaneity, and fun that real people bring. What the hell bring. are they doing, though? Like, they're all Let's going join Bill. different directions. He's in the same shared world as Rebecca, driving at speeds made even more thrilling on Xbox One X by the brand new 60 FPS mode. <laughs> Meanwhile, Andy is bouncing around the dunes nearby. As you can see, Horizon 4 is still full of action-packed fun. And now we're going to show you how seasons change everything. In Horizon 4, every season changes the world around you, with each bringing its own unique beauty and unique gameplay. Did they actually drop leaves on the audience? They did. One of the great Look things about the shared world is that it's easy Who's to interact clean all that shit with up? the people you meet. 
Here, Solomon and Rebecca use the new quick chat feature on the D-pad to start a new friendship. But now you're going to lose it the race. It looks like Rebecca has found some like-minded friends. Now you're going the wrong way. It's great to play solo, but it's better to play with others. Horizon 4 lets you seamlessly enter co-op from within the game world. Seasons, time of day, and weather conditions are dynamic, but they are synchronized for every player, so the entire community will experience them at the same the time. He's gonna hit a sheep. Now, as much as we'd all love to sit and watch the sun go down together, let's see how this scene looks in winter. The entire open world changes beyond recognition. In winter, the lake has frozen solid, and previously inaccessible areas can be reached. The trees have entirely lost their leaves, and snow and ice cover the terrain. The visuals and the driving experience couldn't be more different. And now a blimp has appeared over the ice to signal the start of a new world event. Sportsathon Live invites the entire community to come together and cooperate to win big rewards. And while they head off to the event, I'd like to show you how the world of Forza Horizon 4 looks in spring. Weren't they all just driving on the frozen lake, though? Once again, the world changes completely with the seasons, bringing new driving experiences, new gameplay, and new events across the it's whole world. It's like the lake world. just immediately thaws Every and season, everybody drowns. Every there are new reasons to play Forza Horizon 4, and the huge, creative, fun-loving Horizon community will be there to enjoy them with you. Today, you've seen a completely new take on Horizon. In Forza Horizon 4, you will live in a vast, beautiful world in which dynamic seasons change everything. Forza Horizon 4 is coming to Xbox One and Windows 10 on October 2nd, and I am thrilled to announce that it will be included in Xbox Game Pass on the same day. Thank you so much. Please welcome back, Phil Spencer. Damn it, Phil Spencer. We know that exclusive games from our Microsoft Studios are what originally turned so many of us into Xbox fans. My team and I take our commitment to you seriously to make Xbox One the best place for you to play and for you to have the best games on the world's most powerful console. This is why we're increasing our investment in our existing franchises that you already love. And this is why we are amplifying our investment in new worlds that will deepen your love for gaming on Xbox. We embarked on a quest, a quest to find creative teams that have the mastery of our art form. And we found innovative game designers, master storytellers, exceptional world builders. And now, I'm proud to introduce the creation of a brand new Microsoft Studio. The Initiative. Led by Daryl Gallagher, a visionary storyteller who has worked across some of the most iconic franchises for over 20 years. This new Santa Monica Studio is building a team of world-class talent to create groundbreaking new game experience. That's great, show us one. And next, I'm excited to welcome Undead Labs to Microsoft Studios. <laughs> this studio caught our attention with their visionary approach to building a zombie survival franchise. Just what we need. They just released their second infestation into the world and in the first two weeks, over two million of you have joined the fight to survive. Just what we freaking need, now, Microsoft. Another zombie survival. It's my distinct game. pleasure to announce that we have acquired 
playground games. This is one of the highest rated studios of this generation, celebrated for their incredible craftsmanship. Not only will Playground Games continue to work on Forza Horizon. Playground Games, the studio responsible for Hopscotch and Foursquare. Some of you may know of their work on the Monkey Bars. And for the fourth new studio, it's my personal honor to welcome Ninja Theory to Microsoft Studio. I haven't heard of any of these studios. I met Nina Tamim when we collaborated on Kung Fu Chaos back on the original Xbox. And a minute into playing Hellblade, you know you're in the hands of master storytellers who are fearless about telling bold cinematic stories. This is a team oh, gifted Undead Labs did in stay creating of decay. new franchises. That makes sense. And yes, we've got a fifth studio to announce. Compulsion Games. Two years ago, we premiered a game we couldn't get out of our heads. A game that captivated us with its strong, fresh, and intense storytelling. We Happy Few is, released, is, is nearing its full release to gamers everywhere. So please help me in welcoming all of our new studios. By joining us at Microsoft Studios, these five new teams will have the resources, the platform, and creative independence to make big, take bigger risks, create even bolder worlds for you. Truth is the enemy of happiness. Isn't that the decision we all made? Oh. All right, great, Jeff. Have a good one. But you know the truth, don't you? There's not a thing I can tell you that you don't already know, is there? Have you had your joy, Ollie? People in town are getting a tad bit skinny. I think they're starving to death. And they're painting the streets in rainbows. Have you not noticed? Oh, Ollie. Why are you all wearing those ridiculous new masks? You should get one. They shape your face into a smile. And when you smile, you can't help being happy. We have to tell people. They need to know the truth. No! It's better not to know. Wiki, wiki, wiki everybody. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington World. Do what you should be doing, and you never have to worry. Sally? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. It's not a lovely day for it. It's a f***ing terrible day for it. If you force people to have the emotions you want, then you've turned them into robots made out of meat. Where is it? Where's the blackberry? You've gone too far this time. This looks pretty interesting. People won't face facts. Not until we take their joy. And when we do that, they'll murder each other in the street. Oh, cool. I like that. It's different. Exclusive. It's PUBG. PUBG look anything like any of this. This is why you can't trust trailers. This does not represent actual gameplay at all.
Well, that's cool. I do want to see a winter map, though. <laughs> World premiere. Battlefield mode in PUBG. So wait, so wait. Every game, every other first-person shooter out there is making a battle royale mode to, to get in on the battle royale success of PUBG and Fortnite. And now here, ba PUBG is going to add a war mode <laughs> just like Battlefront. Or Battlefield. Oh my god. That's... that's pretty hilarious. Oh, man. I have no idea what this is. Pretty sure it's gonna give me a copyright claim. <laughs> Washington, D.C., the most heavily protected city on Earth. Within its limits, 177 foreign embassies, 550 elected officials, and 23,000 military personnel. In the event of an attack, critical personnel are evacuated. Underground shelters open, while complex defense systems... Yo, is this the, the Division 2? But nothing stopped the virus. 27 days after patient zero, Washington fell. It began with riots on K Street. This looks like the division two. In the National Mall. Troops withdrew to bunkers. Civilians were left in the streets. America is on the brink of collapse. But some people have survived. Gardens grow on rooftops, their fences patrolled with rifles. In communities that live under constant siege, survival has taken the form of urban warfare. This has Centuries to be the division ago, two. on this very soil, Brother fought brother, spilling blood to forge the United States. History is threatening to repeat itself. Now, in the heat of summer, six months after the outbreak began, a remnant of a corrupt state lurks in the shadows, ready to engage in a new civil war. Agents of the Division are the only ones standing against Hold them. it! But how do you save a nation when its enemies come from within? Interesting, so it's not going to be in New York, it's going to be in D.C. No way we get gameplay?! No. This is the, this is the next game? Oh man! No wait! Is it? It is! Holy shit! Matt, that crash site is just ahead. I mean, we, Dude, we know, Kit, did you guys hear that? based yeah. on the trailer that we had for Division 1, that the actual gameplay is going to be nothing like this trailer. But, it's still cool to watch. Look at this parachute. Dropped right through the ceiling. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, that'll come in handy. So you guys are coming, or what? Yeah. Oh, Merry Christmas. Ah, oh, here's the door.
Karpinski, it's the division. All right, let me just talk to this guy. Glad to see you. We got a boy here who's gonna die without his meds. Those true sons assholes confiscated. Along with most of our drinkers. Up around Pinto Okay, Station. meet us at the sinkhole? Yep. Okay, sure. I mean, it looks exactly the same. Wow. Okay. Definitely from the capital. You should have a new side mission on the map. Yeah, we're not that far. Okay, do it after the crash site? Sounds good. They're just ahead of us, Matt. Hey, I see you. I'll be up in a sec. Kit, we gotta get you leveled up. I know, please help, I've been busy. Toxic chemical residue detected. A lot of loot down there. Is it hey, division gameplay? Really I mean, technically, technically, yes. So that's though, the control point. Mm -hmm. this is not how you would, how most people hey, would play. Me. Crap, they have a tank. Yep, I see him. Don't aggro him yet. Let me adjust my build. Got my crossbow and chem launcher. Chem cloud out. Matt, can you flank them and get a clear shot? I'll take that sniper on top. Wait for it. Got her. Exactly the same as the one. Alright, let me try to get that tank off you. More bad guys on the other side of the plane. Grenade, grenade! Duke, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Matt, I need your help. Over here. Seeker mine out. This is literally the same trailer. Whoa. we had oh, for the first I'm division. Stuck. Use a little help. Thanks, Matt. Oh, there's a dude rushing through the plane. Guys. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Got him. I'm down. Yeah, Division hang on, I'll get you. Down. I'll cover you guys. Come on, come on. Oh, it's so hard not get to get my weak point. Up for this. Oh crap. Matt, watch out. Setting my drone. Thank you for the revive, Meg. I've got this guy behind the tank. Map of the hive, nice. Alright, just lay it on him. Again? Drop down. Now oh, there goes his armor. Ah! You're on your own. Keep going! Good job. Level up! Level 30! Oh, sweet. Congrats. Alright, flare is up. Control point is ours. Nice. You guys wanna check out the plane? Let's go. Analyzing ballistic residue. Looks no like a found. rough landing. It's exactly the same trailer. Jesus! Whoa, that's nuts. Let's check it out. Great idea, let's just die. So, game plan. Take the capital back. I think we're ready. Three, two, one, go, 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 go! Ah, uh, see, I want to be excited for that so bad, but I know Please it's Please welcome Ubisoft. the head of engineering, Xbox Game Pass, Ashley Spiker. Special time for she you. looks so nervous. We've never had so many incredible games to play. 
storied franchises, uncharted worlds, new releases, and cult classics. Genres we love, and genres we love to explore. There's only one problem. Too often, we are forced to choose one amazing game over another. So we set out to solve that problem. And to answer the question, what if you didn't have to choose? What if you could play them all? The answer, Xbox Game Pass. A way to give gamers the ultimate freedom to play. And your response has blown us away. Not only are you playing more games, you are spending more time gaming. Freedom of choice is leading to more discovery, more play, and more fun. And we couldn't be more inspired to keep building and unlocking more for you. So for the last year, we've been working on how to give you faster access to all those games. We leveraged the machine learning expertise we have at Microsoft and invented a way to start your games twice as fast. And naturally, we're calling it Fast Start. Unlike the current ready-to-start system, which is manually configured, Fast Start uses machine learning techniques based on how gamers actually play games. And Fast Start is designed to get better as the algorithms and parameters are refined over time. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here I'm thinking that, that Fast Start all of these, like, titles in the we've acquired these new studios or we've developed this new technology that will help you start your games faster, I can't help but feel like they should put those in their own separate press conference from the games. But then Ultimately, it occurs to me that if they did that, none of us would freaking games. watch it because we just want to watch the game trailers. Nobody, like Halo, do we, like, Master really Chief care about this? Coming later this year. Maybe. But... I just want to see the new games, man. We also man. plan to release all new exclusive games from Microsoft Studios, including Forza Horizon 4, Crackdown 3, and more, into the Xbox Game Pass catalog on the same day as the... It's literally putting me to sleep. I, I just go on. This is literally putting me to sleep. Every month, we'll also bring new games from leading creative studios into your Xbox Game Pass library. Games like Ashen, Warhammer Vermintide 2, After Party, and Phoenix Point, all available in Xbox Heard of Game Pass any of those same games. day and for release. <laughs> so that's what's next, but let's talk about what's happening today. Tom Clancy's The Division. The, the Elder Scrolls Online Tamriel Unlimited. All right, and we can see, and Fallout 4. We can see the picture. Just, and let's keep going. Fallout 4. Right, this is not like the Emmys or the Oscars where you have like an envelope. All enhanced for Xbox One X in gorgeous 4K and all of them playable today in Xbox Game Pass. Great. These games have been playable for years. Thank you to all of the developers working with us to bring freedom of choice to gamers around the world with Xbox Game Pass. Thanks, everyone. they announced so far? Oh, man. Uh, they started with Halo Infinite, which they haven't actually said whether that's Halo 6 or not. They just It's just called Halo Infinite. They showed a little bit of gameplay of Ori and the Will of the Wisps. They showed the new Forza. Uh, they showed 
Did they just finish showing the Division 2? They've actually shown quite a bit. They did a little bit of a Fallout 76, the new uh, Metro, Metro game, I forget what the subtitle is. Some Japanese, or uh, Samurai game. I knew why I came oh, Kingdom here. Hearts 3, also. I saw it. The end. It was so vivid. But now the truth feels further away than ever. I it's still have so murder. many questions. You said you were going out. But I heard you through the wall. I said don't go far. We can't let Trinity get hold of this. Let's think this through. Do you realize the tragedy you have unleashed? The cleansing has begun. It falls to me now to stop it before it consumes us all. What have I done? missed much and even the games that they did show they really didn't show that much I know that it's not practical I know that it's hard to believe <laughs> Me. We have to trust each other. wants to alter the course of humanity. If you had that power, what would you do? I mean, I'm not a huge Tomb Raider fan, but that actually looks pretty interesting. Exclusive. I'm like Bruce Willis, unbreakable, die hard, true sickness. They're still making skateboarding games. But I'm not Chow Yun Fat. Break them, still a pillar of stone. Blows into your skull. Lash on your whole militia like a cannibal. Imagine you the antelope, and I'm the king of the jungle. Animal instinct, phenomenal stamina. Just think about a man on the brink of insanity. And it's me, you not a rapper, you a movie star. Checking who we are, be the booty tar. While I top cocktail. Checking you'll get scored as who regardless. A marvelous, majestic. Nope. All my power harness shit, my spoken word like a Voltron sword. And these palms close to arsenic, every madly, deadly comes up. How is it be? It's seen you, it's in me, and MC. That's all we know. The powers that be, it's in you, it's in me, and MC. That's all we know. The powers that be, it's in you, it's in me, and MC. That's all we know. The powers that be, it's in you, it's in me, and MC. Okay. <laughs> like a half ass clap from the audience. People are like, whoa. <laughs> they say you only live once. 
I beg to differ. I was born three times, and I've met death three times. My first home was Altanova. The curiosity I gained there cost me my first life. I awoke again in Tarif, village of the sorcerers. I once thought that this would be my true home. Everything changed when I started to ask the forbidden questions. What exactly is the true nature of the Blackstone? What lies beneath the vast desert? Who was it that was calling me from the depths beyond the desert? The world never paid heed to such questions. They just fought on, blinded, and hungered for more and more of the power. It is time that I, at long last, reveal the hidden secrets once and for all. to learn your true wretched self. Behold, I am Elezra, the darkness born from the desert. <sighs> What's up, Rekha? World premiere. World premiere. We've known each other a long time. Hold the line! Hold the line! Nothing can do! What the hell is this? You never had this much trouble. You gonna make it through this? They're demons! I see them with my own eyes! Red Grave is completely taken over! Let us pray for mercy. This is a trial from the heavens above. Hey, Fed. Wow. Hey, honey. Need assistance? Hey, you have to hit every single bump in the road. <laughs> Where <are> my crew? <laughs> You're up, crew cut. You taking notes? Yeah, he's a real pro at smacking demons yeah. around. That's why building that well-functioning arm <laughs> to kick demon ass. What? Yeah. No chit chat or monologue? Just getting right to the point. Something huh? not really my cup of tea. But I mean, it looks cool, I guess. If you're a Devil May Cry fan, you're probably pretty excited right now. My little badass work is worth every dime. You know it. Cash first. Get back inside now! I've got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. Devil may cry. Please welcome, from Capcom, producer Matt Walker, and director Hideaki Itsuno. So of all the games that they revealed, they're gonna have people come out and talk about this one instead of, like, Halo? As director, I've waited four years for this. Thank you so much. DMC is back!
English, English is hard. Matt, you do it. Of course. It's been 10 years since Devil May Cry 4 was released, and fans have been asking for a true sequel ever since. So this is our response, loud and clear, that we hear you. Devil May Cry and Hideaki Itsuno are back! Early on in the development of Devil May Cry 5, we set our sights on creating something that was going to have world-class visuals. So we've scanned fully costumed oh. models for all of our main characters, and with How the power of this press conference Max, again? we're able to render them as realistically as possible. Oh. Now, while visuals are really important, the controls need to remain tight and responsive as well. So we've gathered the best minds at Capcom to ensure that we can still deliver that amazing gameplay that Devil May Cry is known for. And we think that we've made something that feels better than any action game we've ever created. Hold on, hold on. すべてのファンの皆様のために一番の自信作ができました。期待してもらって大丈夫です。よろしくお願いします。Isuzan says that he is convinced that this is the best game that he's ever made because we made it for you, our fans. And we hope you look forward to seeing more. Have a great E3! It says that Bethesda is at 9.30, but it doesn't Exclusive. say how long Microsoft's lasts. We could be here all night. No way, is this a Cuphead 2? No, this just has to be like... an expansion? Or DLC? Exclusive. I want to make a Legend of Zelda game, but I want the main character to be a fox. God damn it, Phil Spencer. That tiny fox in a big world is a prime example of the reach of gaming today. A labor of love conceived and created by a single developer in Halifax, Nova Scotia, is today commanding gaming's largest stage. Whether you're sharing the adventure of a tiny fox with more than 20 million viewers on Mixer, or teaming up with Xbox Live friends to slay zombies, gaming is an incredible community. We've always believed that building community is vital for gaming. There's real power in our shared experience, sharing the same world, the same seasons, the same campaigns. And there's real meaning in sharing our love of gaming with fellow gamers. This community is the reason why we love premiering games here at E3. For the rest of our briefing, 
Everything you show you will be world premiere games no one has seen before. Okay. Starting off with something entirely new from our friends at Bandai Namco. On my last trip to Japan, their creative team showed me a sneak peek at their next game. Now, you get to see the first look. World premiere. There are worlds that exist, separate from our own. Where the impossible is reality. They consist of both good and evil. These worlds were never meant to meet. But things have changed. Now, they have begun to merge as one. And our last hope really? are the heroes we could only imagine, Wait, uniting what? to fight for our survival. It's more than just one piece. It's like all anime. Naruto, DBZ. Crossover bullshit is this? Jump Force. Jump Force. Oh my god, freaking light Unite from Death to Note. Fight. <laughs> Just imagine. How are you gonna World do like premiere. light from Death Note versus Goku? Goku's gonna like spend 20 minutes powering up and Light's just gonna write his name in the Death Note and then he just dies. It's been 15 years since the fall. Wait! This Goku did die of a heart attack in in Dragon Ball Z, didn't he? Maybe Light, Yagami, and Goku are in the same universe. Piece of land to preserve ourselves from the terrors of the night and the horrors of the day. I know not who can hear my voice. I should therefore speak a word unto here. Anyone who dares to steal food will be hanged, and their bodies will be exposed. Every day we rise from dust to choose between bad and worse. This looks like, uh... What's it called? Death? No. Day? Fuck. It's a game that one of my Patreons These had These choices we take play. to survive will create the world to come. This absolutely is. I just forget what it's called. You know the drill. Get it starts with a D. House and wait until dawn. Good night. And good luck. Bye. Interesting. Please welcome narrative designer Chris Avalo. I'm Chris Avalon, and I'm excited to be working with Techland to create the world of Dying Light 2. Dying Light 2 is everything you'd expect from a bold sequel of the first game. A fluid parkour system with improved natural movement, deep and tactical first-person melee combat, and of course, terrifying nights when the infected emerge from the depths of the city to feed on anyone they can find. At the same time, we invite you to a new vision of the post-apocalypse a bleak and unforgiving reality that we call the modern Dark Ages. 
Today, however, we want to give you a look at one of the impressive new features of Dying Light 2, a technical and narrative advancement for the franchise. Dying Light 2 will be the first in its genre where your choices have genuine consequences in the game itself. From how it looks, how it plays, to the events that occur, everything in the game world can change based on your decisions. The following demo throws a bit more light on this. Haha, <laughs> dying light. <laughs> Dying Light 2 features a functioning ecosystem that reacts on multiple levels to the things you do and the choices you make. In the example we are about to show you, our protagonist undertakes a mission for the Peacekeepers, one of the many factions active in the city. They want you to negotiate with two survivors who are controlling and hoarding a water supply. You going to insult this with another final offer? Let's say you choose to carry out the Peacekeepers' orders one way or another. After this, you will start seeing a significant change in the city as access to the water supply allowed the peacekeepers to bring stability and develop the area. There's even running water for the people at street level, and that raises their morale and allows you to replenish your energy on the go. But there's a cost to this. The PKs have a rigid approach to law and order. So while the streets may be safer, it's only safer for those who side with them. So if you get on their bad side. Now let's return to that moment of choice. And instead of killing them, you choose to team up with this group to supply water on the black market. As you will see, this creates a very different set of consequences for the city. With water being a precious currency, it brings you access to new resources and trade. But this, in turn, attracts the worst type of people to the area. And this is just a single decision, one out of hundreds you will have to make. But it allows you to carve out your own world. Each player's game experience will be unique. And by the way, this is just what happens in the day. At night, well, things tend to get a lot darker. I didn't get very far through Dying Light 1, so I mean, I don't know all that much about it. I think I'm uh, exclusive like three, world premiere. three or four hours in. A lot of time has passed. You've gotten soft. This is Deadpool 2? Complacent. You always knew this day would come. It looks very Deadpool. You always knew the three of you would be needed again. It's definitely Deadpool. You always... Wait. What? new game featuring body morphing genre mashups, three player couch co-op, 4K hand drawn 2.5D graphics, and broad non-specific feature declarations. They're back. I would prefer Deadpool. World premiere. I was born to fight wars that no army could win. There was no fear, no failure. But the rules have changed. The enemy changed. And no one was ready for it. Another square game. The Black Hand. They are the world's most powerful private army. But even they should fear what they've created. 
This is in a war, Rico. This Rico. is survival. This is in a war, Rico. Is that a game or is that a commercial? For From the cops? coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Please tell me that's not a game. Please tell me that was an advertisement for Pops. Thirteen years ago, when I began my Gears of War journey, we had no idea how big this franchise would become. And as it's grown, we've dreamed of taking no. it to new places and different ways to reach even no. more fans. And that's why today we're announcing Gears Pop, a collaboration with our friends at no. Funko to bring a unique mobile spin to the world of Gears. No! And mobile is not the only new place we're going. I'm excited to also no. announce the true Gears of War experience in a completely different genre, Gears Tactics. You create a whole new squad 12 years before Gears of War 1, as they hunt a locust monster maker responsible for destroying whole cities. It's our take on the classic turn-based strategy genre. No, with the character -driven it's not story, your take on the classic turn-based strategy genre. Gameplay, it's you ripping off XCOM. And of course, it wouldn't be a Gears game without a massive boss battle. We look the pop game, okay, fans. here's why the pop game is so inexcusable, it's and it's not work out. You can't compare it to the Lego games. The, the Lego games are made for kids, sure, but all of the games, all of the Lego games are themed after things that kids could, could get into, like Star Wars, Batman, whatever the other Lego games are, I don't know. Uh, you can't... Give a kid Gears Pops and then like finish Gears Pops and then be like, oh, this is fun. I'm going to go play the rest of the Gears of War games. And now you have a seven year old playing an M rated game. Like, I, I don't agree with that. But something goes That's a greedy, greedy choice on their part to try to sell games to a different audience. I can't see this. You don't want to see this. You don't want to see this. He tried to prevent us from making a battle royale mode. It can't be stopped. Kate? It's coming. I'm sorry.
Thanks. For coming here. Of course. Can I recommend we maybe get these people out of here? Hey, just slow down. No, Foz is right. We need to move. What are you talking? He's dead, man. Give her a minute. She'll get her a minute in the Raven. What the hell is wrong with you? Del, we need to leave. I'm not going. Excuse me? For months now, I've been having these dreams. Nightmares. But I think they were messages. What? Something's, something's happening to me. It's your grandmother's? Enough. We'll, we'll deal with this later. Foss, round these people up. I need help. There's a place up north. I think we can find you answers there. No! No! <clears throat> Absolutely not. We have orders. You'll go with me. God damn it, both of you, listen. I'll go with her. Look, if you're missing, Jen will notice. Okay. I'll push Jack the coordinates. No, Corporal, you're coming back to Nuafira. That is a direct order. Well, Captain, screw your order. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Watch her. Her necklace? That's a locust symbol. Yes, yeah, so? She would never be our enemy by choice. I know yeah, that. Because she would die for us. I know that. But what if it's not her choice? Shady, tell you. This is a wild game of survival. I think it's 2019. It's a prequel. God damn it, Phil Spencer. In the entire history of Xbox. In the entire history of E3. In the entire history of our industry, gaming is now at its most vibrant. Today, we shared our commitment to giving you the freedom to discover and play all of the great new games coming to Xbox Game Pass. Today, we showcased more games than we ever have before. 50 games, 18 titles with exclusivity, and 15 world premieres. Today, we shared our most diverse gaming portfolio in every measure, from breadth and art style, genre and cultures, range and subject and setting, scale and story and scope and creative vision. And every one of these plays best on Xbox. Is that it then? The world of gaming is on an historic growth path where the increasing number of gamers is met with the increasing creative power of game developers. In this significant moment, we are constantly challenging ourselves. All right, Dad, where can later. we take gaming next? Our answer, we commit and harness the full breadth of our resources at Microsoft 
to deliver on the future of play. Our experts in Microsoft Research are developing the future of gaming AI, so the worlds and characters we enjoy will be even more rich and more immersive. Our cloud engineers are building a game streaming network to unlock console quality gaming on any device. Not only that, we are dedicated to perfecting your experience everywhere you want to play, on your Xbox, your PC, or your phone. And of course, our hardware team, the same team that delivered unprecedented performance with Xbox One X, is deep into architecting the next Xbox console where we will once again deliver on our commitment to set the benchmark for console gaming. And let's talk about our games themselves. We are committed to building an industry-leading first-party studios organization. And as you saw earlier, we are making one of our greatest single-year investments in teams by adding five new creative studios. We have committed our team, our company, our technical resources, so we can declare to you today, and next year, and all of the years after that, you will always experience the best in gaming on Xbox. So choose the games you want to play. There are worlds to be saved, heroes to be made, and legends to become, together. Thanks, and have a great evening. Please be more Halo. Please be more Halo. Come on. In 1977, they voted my city the worst place to live in America. Main issues, sky-high rate of violence, and more people living below the poverty line than anywhere else. Can't deny it, it's all true. But everybody still wants to live here. This city's always got a promise for you. Might be a lie, an illusion. It's there, just around the corner, and it keeps you going. It's a city of dreams, and I'm a big dreamer. Cool, I guess. All right, well, I guess that's it, boys.
holding out for some more Halo footage, but I don't think we're gonna get it. Alright, WTF, I'll see you later. guys yeah that wasn't the uh, extra halo footage I was hoping to see but all right I'm gonna I'm gonna take the stream down I'm probably gonna tune in at uh, 7 30 Eastern just to see the 15 minutes of worry that they have to show but I'm not gonna bother streaming it if you guys want to check that out you can do it on your own but thanks for hanging out it was a uh, it was a meh press conference they showed some cool stuff but nothing uh, Nothing that had me, like, amazed. Anyway. Alright. Have a good day, guys. Hopefully I'll be posting some videos here shortly. But, uh, no promises. I'll see you guys.